So I finally made it to the heart of the Haven. They're situated in Greenpoint, Napier Street. They supply shelter for people unemployed and also employed as well. So hopefully I get to meet some people here, find out what their story is. And, uh, hopefully they're not camera shy. So I am really hoping that people get to talk to me. I didn't have any luck um, while walking from Ruland Street to Long Street and to here. This part of the of the episode, unfortunately, I don't have a cameraman. My budget didn't allow. My budget only uh, could only afford two hours. So my cameraman, you know, you are. Thank you so much. And let's get to the next part. Uh, the, I'm just waiting for my bedding to get ready. So let's see what's going on. <laughs> so I'm on my way to where I will be sleeping. He's carrying the bedding. Very, 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 there's a guy already there. Yeah. Let's look on this side. Okay. Huh? Uh, I'm trying to find my place. See people put in sleep in. Be comfortable. Who's on top here? Okay, so I finally made it safe to the part of the Haven shelter. Um, I checked into where I'll be staying, my bedding and everything. Um, I know it's a bit noisy out there, so we're in the lounge area where people sit and they watch TV and things like that. I'm joined by Patel. Patel is from India. Uh, no, in South Africa I have a 2009. Okay. I was before in an Okay. Oh, okay. I, I have a nice job, nice work, but uh, they are there all businesses. They went away, they're gonna go back to their own family. They robbed me, took my everything, wow. then I get the trouble for the, my documents, you know, most important the documents. So they took your documents as well? Everything, they take everything and uh, my phones, my... I never even contact with my family with the since five months. Do, do, you, do you think that foreigners have it more difficult? Like yeah. living on the city than South Africa? Yes. Because, uh, you think it's more dangerous for foreigners? <laughs> it's dangerous, isn't it? I'm a sleep on a street. I'm like, I can, I think, I can only imagine. And it, it, especially in your place that you don't know. You, like, you can't just go sleep anywhere. You need to know where it's safe and where it's not safe. I don't know what could happen. Well, I hope it all works out though. So, so what do people, people just sit around here, they watch TV? What time do people go to bed here? No, here people is a, like, I never talk with anyone about like, I just do my thing here. It was a hard issue. The first night in the street, you can't sleep. You walk and walk and walk up until you feel like you can't walk anymore. That's the only way you can sleep in the street for the first night. Finally, you get used to it, like anything. You get used to sleep in the street. And once you get used to it, you know, you get addicted. You don't want to be in a house anymore. Yeah. I'll build myself a shark here. Yeah. Take plastic yeah. and get a trolley for your stuff. So if you move, you just put your stuff on the trolley, then you pull it. But the body starts to move because the body doesn't get all these needs like water and food and yeah. stuff. You know? So that also affects your mind and your brain. That's it. Maybe now and then you get yourself a plastic also. Just maybe to get up the buildings. <laughs> 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 Take anything out, just let me know. No. Okay. So you you have three kids and you divorced from your wife? Yes, I left my wife and my children. 
Oh, they live in Port Elizabeth. Is, is that where you originally from? And I do waterproofing, I do tiling, I do plumbing, I build with my own hands. Okay. So yeah, I do all of Okay, so for you guys out there that's watching this, uh, this is Zuma. If you guys have any work for him um, in, uh, let's say, tiling, painting, um, he's done it all. He's got a CV that's there. Uh, so uh, let's see if we can get him um, some work. He's at the Heart of Haven Shelter, um, situated in Napier 7, 7 Napier Street in Greenpoint. So uh, he's, he's, he's here, he lives here, so if you guys have a job for him, please give him a shout. It's about uh, almost uh, midnight and, uh, <laughs> and I had a crazy day. Uh, so from spending time with uh, the people that living in settlements and um, living on the street. I, I got to meet people uh, that staying in the shelter was so crazy. Um, I met an Indian guy who was stranded here in Cape Town. No job, find out find work. Most of these people just, they speak a lot though. And I never cut them off. I, I, you know, I try to get as much as I can. Uh, another guy came by and he wanted to tell his story, but his story was different. He's from Sudan and he had problems with his uh, people. And then I met another woman, uh, Amelia. She's still here though. And this woman is something else. But I'll chat about that again. So, I'm about to leave the shelter right now, uh, met some interesting people, um, got to know more about this place as well, and people living on the street and why they're here. But I'm heading back onto the street right now, don't know where I'm going, but I so need a shower. I so need a shower. I haven't eaten yet, so, but I think I can go a whole day without eating. So I got no money, so... I think the next thing for me to do is maybe find a place where I can start begging for money or I'll try to find a way. I'm not going to sell my body though, that's for sure. I've heard a lot of stories about that. Sleep was okay. I went to bed very late. Couldn't sleep, but uh, I eventually I got to sleep. Got up very early. I usually wake up early anyway, so I was up early and yeah, I'm back on the road again. Okay, it's coming out light now. It's super cold in the morning. I don't know what I was thinking doing this. <laughs> it's getting super cold. Um, so it's either St. George's or going up north. Let's see what we can find. Food is not a problem here on the street because there are places that actually feed people. Like every single day, I'm actually going the wrong way. So money might be something else. Uh, so tell me again, um, you were saying you're waiting for your house. Yeah. W where will this house be? We don't know. We don't know where they're going to put our house. So if they come to you and say, hey, listen, your house is ready. No matter where the house is, that's where you have to move to. Yeah. Yeah. Take the key. Well, because they must put the key in my hand. And it will be in your name as well? Yeah. Yes. And sometimes, the, winter. And sometimes yeah. the, the priests come, the pastors come, and when it rains so hot, then they come and fetch us and we can sleep in the churches. That's always good. Like what? Well, stay in a shelter in Paul. Yeah. That time. And uh, but when a lot of things went there wrong. A man hanged himself in the shelter. Wow. Everybody's got their own problem. And own story as well. Yes. And that's the reason I'm doing this because I want to experience what everyone else experiences on I the street. Just, 
Is it a pakia shower? I wash me, yeah, I got my buckets here. Okay. No fridge also there. And I wash me just here. I just close stove and then I wash me. Well, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you for talking to me. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm not a bad guy. No, you look like a Muslim. I'm not a bad guy. Hello. I cannot handle no more publicity. Okay, so that was somewhat refreshing. Met a few people at the gardens. Um, different story, but they were like in high spirits though. And didn't ask me for money. Asked me for coffee though. But I don't have any money on me, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to sort them out maybe next week. So I'm on my way to go meet um, my next cameraman slash bodyguard. So he's busy having breakfast. I'm hungry as hell. But I don't have any money. Yeah, so I've still got a whole day ahead of me. Got a, about, I think about eight eight more hours to go my day in your life let's get it there it is here to do this on duty <laughs> so how's it going so far so far it's been it's been challenging I need how's a shower so? and I'm hungry and I'm tired all this walking is tiring Food is never a problem. I always thought food is going to be a problem, but it's not. It's basically just surviving till the next day. And the coldness. That's about it. Uh, I met some interesting people. I took some nice footage. Um, interviewed a few people. Each one has a different story that I came across. Um, but I think they all just want to survive till the next day. Did you, did, sorry, did you sleep here? Yes. Okay, so where do you sleep? Like on the bench or? <laughs> Sitting on his bed. Yeah. In the bedroom. Um, I, the most, the most difficult part is, um, is, is when you go out. You, you may come by, by this cafe and you have to open up and it is so beautiful. Like, you, you, are, you are doing your outing things for people, people that can't walk properly. I have to use crutches to walk. Yeah. But I have to put sunglasses. Mm -hmm. you, know. you see, you see me here. What people do? What people say? No, you should. You want people say one? People want something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. No, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. I appreciate it. It's not, I know it's not easy. So sometimes I'll ask a lot of people uh, tell me their story, and most a lot of them turn me down. They don't want to be on camera, or they like they want to get paid yeah. to tell a story. Or whatever. So I really appreciate it. So. People that exploit the homeless people. Um, there are certain organisations that exploit them. Uh, they post the photos, and, uh, and the, the organisation both um, put the photos of evidence and. They get a lot of donations and stuff. They use the people. They simply okay. use the people. Um, how, how long have you been on the street? Seven years on and off. Seven years on and off. This um, is a good business you have here. Is this yours? or you? Mine. Um, I'm selling into somebody else at the moment. My, I, my trading is inside. My permit is put inside and Government Avenue. I trade in uh, products that is uh, food for the animals. Oh, you know, okay. I promote family activities and we've got human trafficking going in Cape Town. Um, so everybody's alert of everything. You know, when you're out there, you're exposed to everything. Yeah, yeah. It's not a joke and it's not, a, it's not an easy life. I can imagine. That's why I say people think that you choose to look like this, but it's not a choice. Yeah. 
Basically, for every day that you survive in the street, it becomes so more difficult to get off the street because it becomes so much more of an option in your life. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, it's that the problem I'm facing now. The old people, they come sleep around me because they know that I look after them. I don't care whether it's a gang member or whatever. Yeah. The, they threaten I have to stand up and the gang You know, I take care of them. I just have to leave. That's good. I think I was like, <laughs> So we're outside the carpenter's shop in Rulan Street. Uh, it's a place where on Saturdays they actually prepare and feed people in need. So I try to get a meal, see what they need and what they, do, what they do over here. And I'll get to speak to the founder as well a little bit later. Um, and I haven't eaten yet, so let's see what they have for us. So this is Danny. Uh, Danny, what's your name? Deliberto. Deliberto. And uh, you've been doing this for how long? Uh, I've been going, July will be four years. Four years? Yeah. And the concept behind everything is, because you're the founder of this, right? Yes. We uh, started it uh, four years ago, well, July 2014. Uh, we started in town. Uh, it was after breathing and meditation course. Part of the course was to go out and, and serve homeless people. And uh, I did it the one day and I never stopped. I see you have an uh, amazing team here as well. Are, they, yeah. are these all colleagues, friends? No, family? these are just, it's just people that arrive uh, all, th all through social media. Are you serious? Yeah. So you put it out there, whoever wants to come help, they can... Yeah. We've, we've got our basic, uh, our core yeah. volunteers that have been with me for a year or two, and they'll come when they can. Um, but generally, a lot of these people, it's their first time. People yeah. come forward and they kind of contribute and things like that. Yeah, we've got donate button on Facebook. We've okay. Got a donate button on our website. So you just donate. Okay, cool. So where can they go to if they want, if people want to donate to your? So they go onto our Facebook page, which is Ladles of Love. Ladles of Love. Of CT. Yes. Um, we've got a donate button there. We're busy upgrading our, our website, but I believe there's still a, a, a donate button on there. Okay. But otherwise, just go on our Facebook page. It links us straight onto our PayFast account. Yes. Is it only Saturdays? No, I've got Tuesday, St. George's Mall. Okay. Uh, outside Food Lovers Market. Okay. 5.30, quarter, well, quarter to six, six o'clock. Then we do it at the Haven Shelter in Greenpoint. Yeah. Napier Street. I was there last night. Oh, were you? Yeah. Okay. It's quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we serve in the car park there on Thursdays. Oh, okay. 5.30. And then this one, uh, on Saturdays. And um, if I might ask, yes. what do you do for a living? I'm in the restaurant business. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <Bigger>. makes sense. <laughs>